So being alive requires energy for movement, reproduction, keeping warm, excretion and growth. And organisms get this energy through a process in their cells called respiration. But it's not only these big processes that require energy, actually every single cell itself needs energy in order to carry out many of its functions. And we call these functions metabolic reactions. Now the cell gets its energy from a molecule called ATP that is produced in cellular respiration. It's produced from the glucose that you, you eat if you're an animal or if you, that you make yourself through photosynthesis if you're a plant. And every cell carries out this vital process of respiration to release that stored energy inside that glucose and convert it into the form of ATP that the cell can then use for all these amazing different processes. Now your cells can carry out two types of respiration. They can carry out one called aerobic, if they've got lots of oxygen, but if they don't get enough oxygen, they have to switch to something called anaerobic respiration. Now you need to know the word equation and the chemical symbol equation for aerobic respiration. So the equation is oxygen plus glucose goes to carbon dioxide plus water plus the ATP, there's the energy. You also need to know the chemical symbol equation. Now that's quite easy in terms of oxygen's O2, carbon dioxide's CO2 and water's H2O. Glucose, you have to just remember this little sort of pattern to it, C6H12O6. And they need to balance it. Now that's why some people get a bit confused, but if you just remember the number of the devil, which is 666, and you put that number 666 in front of everything apart from the glucose, and of course the ATP, so you've got 6O2, 6CO2, and 6H2O, that's how you balance the equation. Now aerobic respiration produces lots and lots of energy for the cell in the form of ATP and it happens inside the mitochondria, the little organelles inside the cell. Now if the cell does not get enough oxygen, then it will need to switch to anaerobic respiration.